All right, everybody, and welcome to our uh, PPC ranking boot camp. So uh, you guys probably have a ton of questions about what we're going to be covering in this boot camp, and we will get to all of those in just a second. Uh, we're excited to have a bunch of people that we met at Pros at the Prosper Show in Las Vegas. Uh, what was that a week ago? Two, last week. A week and a yeah, half ago. Last week. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I should also intro myself. My name is Curtis Johnson. I'm the president of Managed by Stats. Um, I am also joined over here by Mark Jepson, who is the CEO of PPC Logic, and then Rob Kaplan, the CEO of PPC Logic. And uh, yeah, we've got we've got a lot of content for these guys, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So much so we decided to break it into a three part boot camp. Um, just so you guys also understand how we're going to do this, we're going to cover. Um, part one, because you will probably have a bunch of questions, we're going to do a question and answer session, um, not as part of this, but you're going to send us in your questions in the comments, and then we're going to do a, a dedicated question and answer as a separate thing. So um, with that, I don't want to really steal too much of your guys' thunder because you guys are the experts on this. So I'm going to turn it over to Mark and Rob. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so we basically wanted to kind of show you guys the, the the three different areas that a lot of people don't connect together. Um, and it's, it's the integral parts of actually making sure your advertising will be successful. And uh, in order to just, in order to, you, you can't just jump into the advertising and, and start rolling with different things. You need to have some things in place before you do that. And uh, so we kind of call this, or I kind of nicknamed this the trifecta. Um, it's these three, three elements that you need to have in place in order to have successful PPC. And, um, and this is kind of, you know, a lot of people uh, teach these different points, but um, you don't often see these three points being tied together in this way. And this is what we feel a lot of sellers are missing in their, their PPC uh, functions that they do. So wanted to just jump into that. Uh, anything you wanted to add to that, Rob? And thus the title, which originally was the missing link, is the pieces that connect it all, so to speak, the glue. There's yeah. little nuances and pieces that we're finding that people are leaving out. And when they leave it out, it's a, all of a sudden it'll hit us and we'll say, oh, wait a minute, but roll that back and we'll get them to tell us what they said again and we'll realize, no, wait a second, you're missing a piece because they either chose a wrong competitor or they somehow figured out the keywords wrong and went after search volume and they didn't understand search frequency and the new uh, terminology of SFR, which is actually your, the, the money keywords. Yeah. And they would miss critical pieces that then they'd either build their listing wrong, not use the right phrases, or they would end up designing campaigns that would not be effective in their pay-per-click. Yep. So I wanted to just cover what the trifecta is. Uh, we're going to cover the first point of the trifecta in this webinar. Um, but uh, I want to cover what that whole structure is, and then we'll dive into the details because there's a lot of little nuances that um, you have to think with when, when going through these things. And if you don't know these things, you could be doing something that is going to be wasteful in the future when you actually are doing your advertising. So the first point uh, of the trifecta is your listing itself. You need to make sure that your listing is a quality listing. So all the things that uh, you probably already know of making sure you have you know, a good image, a good image stack. So all you know, five or seven or nine of your images are nice, good quality. Um, you need to have good title, bullet points, description, all that kind of stuff. But when you're doing that, you need to make sure that your analysis of the competitors or the other people in that, area, in that uh, arena, um, you know which competitors you want to get those keywords from so what keywords are your competitors actually ranking for or showing up for? You wanna find out what those keywords are and make sure you have those keywords built into your listing. So that's the first point of the trifecta. The second point is after you have all those keywords into your listing, you wanna make sure you're tracking those on some kind of keyword tracker. Uh, so in Managed by Stats, you have that keyword tracker tool. You can just put those in there and have them tracking uh, where you're actually uh, showing up organically for those keywords. That's the second point. And then there's gonna be, uh, there's a little bit of nuances of what keywords to go after from that in your PPC. And that's the third point of the trifecta is taking those keywords and yeah, you're gonna be advertising on, on probably all the keywords that are relevant to your product, um, 
But you, if you're going to be doing any kind of ranking or launching campaign or any kind of dedicated uh, push on certain keywords, you need to know which ones to go after. And doing that in your PPC is all going to be based off of the second and first point of the trifecta. So, well, also uh, an interesting point. You were very insightful in naming it. You want to go over the definition because with the trifecta, right? You have to win and have the winning horse, the second and third place if you want to win. And we feel that you need right. all three of these pieces if you want to win and win big with both your listing and ranking. Yep, exactly. So um, I think we should just dive in. We uh, picked a product that we're going to kind of do this analysis on. So it's going to be, you know, uh, fresh. We've, we haven't uh, analyzed this product before. So um, let's, jump, let's jump right in. Uh, this is the product right here. So it's a um, unbreakable Titan plastic whiskey glasses. So what I'm going to do is the first thing we want to do is pick the money keyword or the main keyword that we want to go after. So in this case, I'm thinking probably unbreakable whiskey glasses is probably going to be the main kind of thing. We have Triton as kind of a, a key element in there, but uh, there could be other types of unbreakable glasses. So maybe unbreakable plastic whiskey glasses. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, and when you guys look for what are the proper phrases to insert, I usually like to try to incorporate as many of the pieces of the phrase that's going to pull up competitors who may or may not rank if you did a shorter phrase. So for instance, this is one of the missing pieces. If you put in just unbreakable, you may get certain competitors who, let's say they were missing unbreakable. But if you had unbreakable shatterproof plastic whiskey glasses, you're now getting both sides of that. You got the unbreakable and shatterproof that you're capturing those competitors that are trying to push and rank for that. And you want to be all encompassing. You want to throw out that large net and you want to pull in the competitors that you're going to have to go up against to get to rank on page one. So I would look at this and probably do unbreakable plastic or unbreakable shatterproof plastic, plastic whiskey glasses. Cool. Let's give it a try. Let's just uh, do a new search in here. All right. Unbreakable shatterproof. Whiskey glasses. Okay. <clears throat> So now we got <clears throat> we got the all the guys that are showing up on page one. We obviously have an ad banner ad at the top, but now we're going to look at the different products in here. So this is a sponsored, but then we have this guy right here. He's also uh, showing up organically on position one. And, um, and, and one other quick thing that I see here, if you go back to the title, scroll back up. You know what we might do here? Once you see the competitors, uh, and this is great that we did it this way because if you're missing a word or you see that, whoa, wait a second, there's a really great word that intuitively you know should be included. You can always go back and change the search. I would do unbreakable, shatterproof, and put either cocktail, whiskey, or whiskey cocktail. Do whiskey cocktail glasses. And let's see if it changes the results at all. And this should be a really great seed phrase to find our competitors. And I think now we're also gonna get some players who use the word cocktail. Right, um, right. And if we pull all those together, this should really help check out the landscape and the field of who's out there. Because the goal here, guys, is to remember, you want to find the keywords and phrases that you want to rank for and who's already competing for those keywords and phrases. And this is a great way to do it. And now Mark and I will work through how do we choose which competitors? Yep. So the first thing that I want to look at is <clears throat> who is ranking the best? So the, the top guys. So these, these top guys up here, uh, these next ones down here, but I want to look at um, also because we, we've we've heard this datum of uh, Amazon is broken, you know, over the years. Uh, so you could have someone who's a brand new product and is just doing some crazy promotion and you know ranking efforts, and they only have four reviews, right? Um, but they're just shooting really aggressively. So you could have a, a seller up here that's you know on the first, second, third position uh, when they're just a brand new seller. So you want to look at a, who's ranking up here, but also are they experienced? Are they an experienced seller or are they a seasoned seller? You know that they have some reviews. Their star rating is okay. 
Um, you know, they don't just have one review or something like that. So that's the first thing that I'm going to look at. So I'm going to take this guy. We can see he's obviously advertising really aggressively because um, he's showing up right here. And, uh, and then he's right here. So let's take him. He's probably got some good SEO. I'm going to open him up on a new tab. Uh, this one here, uh, four and a half stars, 360 reviews. Yep, looks like it's good. They got Amazon's Choice on this one. So we'll open up that one as well. Uh, Tossware Reserve, 12 ounce, old fashioned set of Triton dishwasher safe. Yep, this looks like a, a similar product. Uh, 290 reviews. So I'm going to open up this one. Um, so now we got the three top competitors or the three top sellers, I should say, uh, potentially. Uh, let's dive into some other ones. This one's a little bit different style, different style, different style. Uh, so here's here's our product. <clears throat> now those are still competitors, different styles, still competitors. Yep. And also as we're going through this, guys, obviously the guys at the top are ranking the best. So you want to see what they're ranking for. And of course, we're going to choose those as competitors. But remember, we want to get onto the page and we're also going to be competing with, yes, the, the top players are who you want to go and emulate, but we're probably going to be competing mostly with the guys that are middle of the page. Right. So if you're on page three or four and you can get to page one and be in the middle, oh my God, you'd be jumping up and down. So don't always assume that, oh, you're going to be one, two, or three right out of the box. Right. You want to get on page one and little by little by little creep up to the top. So we want to get a collection of a few samples of a few players the top guys and the middle. Yep. So if we're going to choose maybe, what, 10? Yeah, I'd say eight so, to 10 people. Yep. So let's get some from the middle and then some from further down. Yeah, let's see if there's some other ones that are more uh, exactly matching our type of product. So we can see we're just kind of a, the simple kind of old fashioned look um, where without the, the, well, I guess this is old fashioned, but it's kind of the simple plain look that we have on these ones. But you, you know, also uh, what I noticed, here's another word that, and this is what you try to do. You see how this title has the word reusable? Yep. So I would grab one of these guys because we know that they're using yeah. the word reusable in their title and they Absolutely. have a lot of reviews. So we know we're going to grab another keyword and see how it ranks. Yes, smart. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so we got here, this guy's got 55, 100. Here's 1,200, a little bit of a different uh, mold, but still very much a competitor of ours. So let's take that. A um, little bit more of a wine thing, but they are saying tumbler and whiskey in there. So let's let's shelf that for a second, maybe. And, and something else to point out, when for the same reason that I just said that about reusable, the competitor you just chose is excellent because you see how it's also incorporating uh, ideal for bourbon and scotch. So we know it's picking up the words bourbon and scotch. So that as we choose these competitors for our analysis, we're going to end up seeing how those words rank. We may find in the analysis that maybe bourbon is phenomenal, or maybe it really doesn't even do anything and doesn't rank well. So right. then why go after bourbon? Right. So I like the idea that it's got those in the title. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, good. So let's see what else we got. Um, this one's kind of similar. Let's see, stacking, Titan dish, whiskey glasses, clear, 16 reviews. So let's go to the next one. Uh, drink it, LA rocks, unbreakable, turn whiskey, turn set of four, clear. Yeah, I mean, 100 reviews. Let's take them just in case. Um, see how we got one review on this guy here. These are uh, a lot different types of glasses, so it doesn't really make sense to go after those. Here's another one, whiskey glasses. Uh, this might be an actual glass. Um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. It's probably an actual glass product. It's yeah. got 1,200. We might have uh, some good keywords we can get from these guys. So we're obviously trying to emulate with a with a, the plastic. Yeah, 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 but what you point out is true. See here, it even says glassware, and this is not relevant. It, it, it's really, it's not shatterproof. It's not unbreakable. Right. It's kind of a whole different category of product. Right. Exactly. Now, I'm probably going to want to pick it just in case it has some good keywords that we want to show up for, for those type of people. But obviously, we're going to exclude glass, you know, in, in the keywords that we're going to be uh, putting now, in our product. Would you be concerned? I, the other thing I, uh, is the low price. They're super low price. Yeah. So, but for keyword, uh, for keyword analysis, we can maybe find some stuff that they might yep. have that other people don't have. Um, it's worth doing. They obviously have a lot of reviews, so they're you know five star products. So they probably have some good SEO uh, on their back end. Um, okay, here's another one here. Party it's a sponsored. It's a sponsored. Yep. Okay. 
Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And, and just time. as a quick note there, on the sponsored ad guys, they're doing well with their pay per click there, but you don't know how aggressive, you don't know what they're right. spending per click, and it could mislead you. And just because they're there on page one, again, they're paying to be there. You don't know what they paid for the click. I would ignore those sponsored ads. Yep. Because we're looking here in this analysis, we're looking for the organic players. Right. Exactly right. Uh, here's another one, uh, kind of similar. It's maybe more for water, but they show some other kind of drinks in there. Uh, they got 170, so that's probably okay. Pull up that. So how many we got we here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're up to eight now. Let's get two more, uh, if we can. Um, so this is our. These are different types of glasses. Here we go. This is. Uh, this got bestseller. Uh, this is an eight-piece set. Eighteen thousand reviews. Holy moly! All right, let's grab these guys to see what they got. And then these guys here. This is a set of six. Uh, Fourteen reviews. Uh, let's go down a little bit more. We might need to go back up if there's no one else here. Amazon Basics. So okay, Amazon's jumping into this whole arena as well. Uh, so this is going to be their actual Amazon brand. So we'll we'll grab them, see what kind of SEO they have. Uh, and I think that does it, right? One, two, yeah, three, four, a, a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that that's a pretty good. So I'm going to take now all of these products. Um, what I like to do inside of Manage My Stats when you're using this uh, keyword scout tool, this is the reverse ASIN tool. We're going to be um, analyzing all of these guys, but what I like to do is see how my product compares to the other products, right? So I'm gonna take uh, this product here and I'm gonna grab my ASIN, which is right here. Copy that. And I'm gonna put that one first. So I wanna see how uh, I'm comparing to all the others. So now I'm gonna add in all the other ones. So um, I think we started from here. No, from the next one here. There we go. So I'm gonna grab this. Copy that, bring it over here, paste it. While you're pasting those in, yeah. one of the things, guys, is if you have any questions, make note for our Q&A uh, of anything in this process that you didn't get uh, or that you want to question or challenge. We tried to get a diverse amount of players who are relevant, who are on the first page from top to bottom, and we wanted to make sure we also went out of our way to include competitors that maybe had keywords not in our search and had other keywords that seem to be strongly relevant that we may not have caught because that's gonna force picking up those keywords. Well, that will do is it will give us an analysis of are those keywords meaningful or not? Because once we check out the SFR and we check out the data, we'll know whether or not we want to include those keywords. Um, and that should give you a pretty complete competitive analysis of who's on the first page. Exactly. This is gonna be a, a, a very nice analysis point here. Um, all right, so let's see. Just about there. And this is, this is uh, like we said, a lot of people don't think with doing this in depth of an analysis when, when building out their listing. And this is uh, such a crucial part of everything else that you're going to be doing with your listing, with your advertising, um, and, and trying to market your, your product effectively. Okay, last one here. All right, so I got them all in there. I'm going to click Find Keywords. It's going to go through and do the, uh, uh, basically, seeing what all of these competitors have uh, as keywords that they're actually showing up for and ranking for. And um, what this does, uh, the, the Keyword Scout, what we actually pull is the top million search terms from Amazon. So we actually know that these are search terms that are relevant uh, and, and have some kind of search volume um, from what Amazon is showing. So that's what we're gonna wanna do. The analysis is now done. So we can scroll down here a little bit the first thing I'll, I'll do is I'm gonna sort on this search frequency rank column. So I wanna get the, uh, the best, the, the lowest number uh, first. And uh, it's a ranking system. So the lower the rank, the better, right? Number one is the best. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then what I wanna do is you can see we have 1300, almost 1400 keywords in here. Um, so I wanna go through and get probably 
a good place to start is get to like the top 50 keywords that actually make sense and are super relevant to your product. So we're going to go through here and uh, and start taking out some of those that don't make sense. So or that are too broad. When they say or well, that are too broad, exactly. Right. So when we say don't make sense, we mean it doesn't make sense for this analysis. If they're too broad, you don't want them. So obviously glasses. Exactly. Is, is a little way bit too broad. broad. And as you go through this, Mark will start to delete words that are either not relevant or way too broad that we wouldn't consider using. Right. And in this case, okay, glasses, uh, it's probably going to be containing, you know, in a lot of these other ones. So I can just get rid of it because I'm not going to go after that specific keyword, but I'll have it in a phrase, right? So let me just do that. Okay, so um, the next one here, uh, cups. That's a little bit too broad. It's it's obviously applicable, but uh, we probably have it in a phrase. So I'm just going to get rid of that as well. Um, whiskey glasses, very applicable. Drinking glasses, very applicable. Uh, apartment essentials for for first apartment. That's a that's a nice keyword. That's you know probably Could be a good long term. Yeah, people looking for you know uh, stuff that's not going to break in their apartment. So that makes sense. Uh, plastic wine glasses. So this is not a wine glass. This is a whiskey glass. Uh, so I'm probably gonna, just going to exclude that. Uh, glass cups, yep, that's fine. We can obviously have something that's before this keyword, like plastic uh, glass cups or you know unbreakable glass cups, something like that. Uh, apartment essentials, yeah, sure. It's a little bit general, but um, we'll, we'll keep it in there just for, um, for kind of SEO purposes. Uh, wine tumbler, great one. Glass, a little bit too general cup again a little bit too general we'll have that later on and, and you know we have cups cups here as plural uh wine tumbler joseph joseph eh, nope cocktail glasses yep kitchen set uh a little that, bit too broad be, yeah it could be coffee mugs that could right. be too many things yeah right one word one words <clears throat> i think we need to stay away from yeah whiskey is going to be too broad and guys just in general <clears throat> most of the time you don't want single words Right. You you want to find that word in a phrase, though. Exactly. And I already know we didn't point it out, but if you look further down, I, I know that whiskey is in there. So whiskey glass is going to be great, but yep. you don't want whiskey. <clears throat> exactly. Uh, home essentials, kind of a little bit too broad, but too broad. Uh, hey, let's get rid of it. <clears throat> Water glasses, could be that could work. Uh, glasses set, yep. Whiskey glass, yep. Plastic tumblers, great. Glassware, that's not what we want, right? So let's get rid of that. Wine glasses, set of four. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Okay, this is a wine. Let's get rid of that. Cups for kitchen, sure. Glasses for men, yeah, sure. Um, now that could be. Let's let's check that. That could be sunglasses, right? Yeah. So let's check what. I'd be careful with that. Yeah. Let's see. So that's going to show up. Sunglasses, or or, or you know, glasses. Uh, glasses for men. Reading so glasses. we're let's going to get rid of let's get rid of that keyword. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, plastic glasses, sure. Plastic cups reusable, great. Uh, Glen Serene whiskey glass. I'm not even sure. Let's check what that is. That is kind of a taller, funky looking one. So that's not what we want. Let's get rid of that. Uh, glassware set. Okay, so this also is going to be glass, right? Uh, so we probably don't want this. Let's see if any of our others show up here. Uh, Triton. Plastic tumblers. Yep. Yep. I think we don't want to keep that. Yep. Okay, good. Let's keep that. Plastic cups, reusable, glassware sets, glass tumbler, sure. Uh, drinking glasses, set of eight. So ours is a set of four, so let's get rid of that. Uh, wine tumblers, it's not wine. Bourbon gifts for men, that's probably going to be a good one. Let's check what uh, shows up here. Uh, okay, we got uh, kind of a gift set with the glasses. Um, that works. That yeah, works. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of a book. Well, you got a couple fun stuff in here as well, so that makes sense. We'll keep that. Uh, highball glasses. I think that's a different type of glass. It's like the tall guys. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense to go after. We'll get rid of that. Uh, plastic drinking glasses. Yeah, that's good. Colored glassware. Ours is not colored, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, new home essential items. Again, kind of broad, but it could, could be very applicable. And if we have that in our bullets somewhere, that could be nice. Uh, plastic margarita glasses. Not margarita glass, so it's going to be a whole different uh, arena. So we'll get rid of that. Yeah, it's different shape, different yep. type. Yep. Uh, rocks glasses. I think that's a brand, but uh, let's check that. Uh, no, but it's, yeah, it's kind of the same kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's a that. good one. Uh, plastic dinnerware set. That's probably going to be more for plates and stuff. Plate let's see dishes. if our competitors show up here. Uh, not really. It's mainly just plates and dishes. And Yeah, and, I'd stay away from that. Yep. I, I think that's uh, a, a wrong category. Yep. 
<clears throat> uh, glass cup. We're probably, let's see. Yeah, I mean, here's uh, plastic tumblers. A yeah, we could other in competitors, yeah, but we have so, several of ours that uh, that could go in there. Okay, uh, bourbon again. That's kind of uh, too, broad. too broad, so we'll get rid of that. Wine glasses instead of twelve. We're not twelve. We're four. Uh, acrylic wine glasses again. We're not wine. Uh, glass set. Uh, so that's again. That's probably going to be just a toss up. Let's check it. Um, there's a couple. You know, that have uh, two different types in there. Uh, Amazon base basics. Uh, that potential. Yeah, potential, right? Okay, let's keep it in. Um, cup set. So again, probably similar. We can keep that in there. Plastic. We'll, we'll check out cup. Yeah. Uh, that could be coffee cup, maybe. See if it. Yeah, so here's the Amazon. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Couple, that, that'll right? work. That'll work. You got some coffee mugs, but you also have the glasses. Yep. So leave that. Plastic wine glasses uh, with stem, it's not wine. Bourbon glass, okay, so that's gonna be a good one. Uh, plastic cocktail glasses, that's a great one. Drinking cups, sure, old fashioned glass. So this is probably gonna be the, I mean, we have our other guys showing up in here. I think the old fashioned has that kind of wrinkled, you know, kind of stuff happening on it, but um, we have a lot of our other similar products to ours showing up here as well. So, um, you know, let's let's keep it in. It could be work, uh, workable. Plastic mar uh, martini glasses, nope. Unbreakable dinnerware, so again, it's probably gonna be plates. Let's check it. Yep, plates yeah. and cups and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to go after that. Um, unbreakable dinnerware, unbreakable wine glass. Again, it's not wine. Uh, bar glasses, uh, yeah. could be something, right? Yeah, no, that definitely. could be uh, very applicable. Yeah, absolutely, yep. yeah. Sweet. Uh, plastic wine cups, so again, not wine. Uh, kitchen items, uh, probably gonna be too general. Probably gonna be more along yep. the lines of that stuff. Yep, there we go. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Kitchen items, kitchen sets. Again, I don't think it's gonna be workable. Uh, drinking glasses set of 12, we're not 12. Uh, juice glasses, interesting, let's check that. So as you can see, we're kind of going through and really uh, honing in on these keywords as what's the, the most relevant keywords for your product, but also they have, as you can see in here, the, the search volume on these, we're still below 100,000. Um, so that's generally, a, a, you know, we, we know below 100,000, that's the highest searched words, right? So we're just making sure that anything that we're gonna be building into our listing actually makes sense to go into our listing um, while having this high uh, search frequency rank. Uh, so lastly, juice classes. Um, yeah, not really. A bunch of uh, kind of larger cups. Uh, here's one that's similar, but uh, here's another one. Um, I mean, why not? It, it, it's, it's borderline. Yeah, it's borderline. Why not? Um, <clears throat> silicone wine glasses, so we're not wine. And we're not silicone. Right. Although the category is Similar, right? Yeah. Yep. Plastic cups, dishwasher safe. That's, uh, that's a good one. Whiskey set. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Bourbon glasses. <clears throat> so I think you had bourbon glass up there. Uh, yep. yep. And then now you have glasses. Yep, I believe that. Uh, glass cups set. Yep. Uh, so this is probably more glass inclined, but we probably have a lot of our competitors showing up here. So it makes sense for us to go after that as well. Um, yeah, there's a few of them in there. Cool. We'll keep that in there. Um, Vasos, that's a different language. Um, we can see what kind of stuff shows up here. Kind of the taller glasses. I'm not even sure what that, uh, what it's saying, what that uh, word is in uh, translated, but um, looks like it might be more towards yeah, well, I'm not gonna build it into my uh, into my listing, um, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, reusable plastic cups, yep, yep. whiskey glass set. Um, another uh, different language, we'll get rid of that. Outdoor wine glasses, again, we're not wine. Uh, plastic, too, too general. Yeah, too general. Glass drinking glasses, sh uh, okay, so that's probably not gonna be what we want, but let's check it. Let's see what we got. We're up to 94,000 now. Uh, we do have this guy here, plastic tumblers. Um, obviously if someone buys our product and they think, you know, they did a search for glass 
and we showed up and they bought us they're obviously gonna be like oh these are not glass and they might get some refunds so it might not be the best one to be pushing aggressively on but it might be an okay keyword to have somewhere in the back end of your listing um so i'm gonna keep it just in case uh where were we glass drinking glasses uh plastic wine glasses stemless we'll get rid of that kitchen is good scotch is good cup set when you jump down that 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 also that that could be because we saw it before cups with coffee cups and glasses i, I would right. keep that yep yep we keep seeing amazon's thing yeah come so up they're, here they're including cups yep uh very loosely yep. uh Acrylic glasses, drinkware, sure. Kitchen sets for home. It's probably going to be more of the uh, pots and pans and stuff yeah. and knives. Yep. yep. Wrong category. And okay, we'll get rid of that. And, and pretty much now we're crossing over up to the 100000 Yeah. So let's stop there. You can obviously go further down. Uh, this is definitely an area where you want to spend a lot of time going through and analyzing. Um, there could be longer tail versions of a lot of these keywords that are going to show up uh, you know, in the 200s, 300, 400, 500 range. Um, so you're just looking for, you're looking for these phrases that are going to be very particular to your product. So in this case, I'm just going to stop at a hundred thousand. I'm going to put here my maximum, um, that I want to show is a hundred thousand. And we're not just stopping there for, um, the video or for sake of time, you, you want to try to keep it at a hundred thousand or less. Now, if you're in a category where you look at the hundred thousand mark and there's some amazing great keywords that go a little bit beyond it. Well, of course, it's logical, go and grab those. And, or you may find that um, depending on the category and the niche, there may just not be a lot under 100,000. It's right. possible. Right. But the goal is you wanna be between that 10,000 to 100,000, should give you a lot of excellent SFRs. And now we'll go through, how do you choose them? How do you pick them? And one of the missing links that people also misunderstand is there's really different philosophy on choosing keywords. We're looking at the listing optimization now and trying to nail those perfect SFR money keywords. Right. However, guys, we're also gonna address later and in the future segment, which keywords do you use for your pay-per-click ranking? Now, those are different keywords than what we may be choosing here. Here, we're not worried about the cost per click, how expensive a click is based on a competition of a keyword. We're looking for all keywords that are even the best of the best that we could use for ranking organically to be on page one. Yep. And then uh, an interesting side note that uh, some people might, might, not, might not be thinking with is um, if you're finding a new product or starting off, you're brand new and you're getting your first product, um, when you're doing your analysis or, or doing whatever kind of research steps you do to find a product, this is actually a smart way to find products that have a high search volume, a high, there's a, there's, there's a lot of, there's a potential for you to jump into that arena and get sales, right? Because we know that there's, you know, 76 keywords here that are in the top 100,000. Whereas some categories, when you do this analysis, you pull up all the best sellers, you put them all in here, and there's only, you know, 10, 15 keywords that are that are below 100,000. Everything else is above 100,000. You know that there's there's it's not a uh, an as popular item um, because it just doesn't have a lot of keywords that are in that top uh, 100,000 search volume, right? So that's a, another aspect to, to think with when you're doing a, a, a product research. Okay, so now we've got these 76 keywords. Um, we're gonna wanna build these into our listing. So um, this is a very uh, time consuming part where you're gonna actually take this stuff and actually build it into your listing. But uh, I'm gonna kind of show you kind of the basics of that. A uh, very simple way to do this. Uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna first save this. Um, so I have it all saved inside of Managed by Stats if I want to refer to it later. So I'll just say uh, cocktail um, review. Okay, I'm going to add that as a view. So now it's saved uh, my filters. It's saved all these uh, keywords that I got rid of. It's going to save this view here. It's also going to save all these competitors that I've uh, analyzed, Great. right? Excellent. So now what I want to do is I'm going to send uh, all, since I've gone through these keywords in detail, I don't need to go to the distiller tool, which is the, this, the second tool here. This is kind of like a, a tool that you can use to kind of narrow down the amount of keywords that you have to be more specific, but we already basically did that in here. So I'm just going to go straight over to wordsmith. Um, and since this is actually not a product that's inside of my Manage by Stats, what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, I'll send it over to Wordsmith. 
and I'm going to just do, um, so you can see here I have different products. Uh, let me get rid of this. So uh, I'm just gonna put it on uh, one of my products that I do have uh, the data for. Let's see, does that make sense or should I just do it? No, let me do it on a draft, there we go. I'll do it on this draft here. That way I'm not gonna be replacing data over one of my other uh, drafts that I did. And um, on the keywords, I'm gonna replace all the keywords. So in this draft, I probably have some other keywords. I'm gonna replace all those keywords with what I just did, right? So I'm gonna replace that here. Um, so now I can see all these keywords um, from the analysis that we just did. I can see if I have these in the listing. So unfortunately, this is a, a different product, so, uh, but it's gonna be similar, right, to, to the product that we're analyzing. Um, we can go ahead and, and kind of redo all these, grab the, uh, the data from here, like this. So I'm gonna take this, this product here, copy the title, and I'm just gonna replace out this stuff so we can see uh, in more detail here. So we'll grab the uh, bullet points. And this way we'll have a real good uh, analysis of what are actually in here and what are not. You may wanna explain like, why are we doing this? Like what, um, what is this actually doing? And make sure everybody understands that we're basically now looking at the listing optimization. Yep, and this is, so this is still part of this first part of the trifecta um, where we wanna make sure that the keywords that we have are all <laughs> gonna be inside of your listing. So here I'm, I'm kind of taking each of the, uh, I'm gonna take the title, the bullet points, and the description, and I'm gonna put it into this analysis tool to see if I have any of these keywords in my listings uh, my listing already, and if not, I can then take these keywords and build them into my listing uh, in the appropriate spots. Um, so just a couple more seconds here and we'll have all of this in here. This is just kind of organically walking through all of these actions here, right? Um, so we're cutting and pasting the yep. actual listing of the subject product, and yep. then we'll run the analysis of that against the keywords we chose. Exactly. So I'm just placing those right in there. And uh, the last one here, copy that. And I'm gonna paste that in here. All right, and then let's just grab the description as well to make sure we get that. And we got some uh, enhanced brand content on this one, so this is fine. We'll just grab this kind of stuff here. We'll just grab all of this. And might get funky with those images, but um, delete that and I'll paste that in here all right so now we got uh, all the text in here for that for that listing as well and um, now we can actually see from our analysis here uh, apartment essentials for first apartment doesn't exist it doesn't exist in our title doesn't exist in our bullet points or description um, we don't have the back-end search terms for this or subject matter um, but uh, if this was our listing we would actually be able to import the data from Amazon itself and pull in um, these uh, back-end search terms and subject matter details but now we can see okay for this one drinking glasses we can see we have it in a bullet point uh, we have it in the description we have it in the subject matter and it's uh, a total of four times that we're using this keyword um, this one here, whiskey glasses, we can see it's in the title. If we scroll up here, we can see whiskey glasses in the title. Uh, we can see it's in the bullet point, uh, and we also have it uh, four times in the description. Um, and then all these other ones we don't have. So this one, cocktail glasses, we have. Uh, these ones we don't have. So now you're actually gonna see, okay, how can you take some of these and build them in, right? So we take a, we could take an example of this, right? Uh, apartment essentials. Um, so find a good spot where we can throw this in, right? Um, do, 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 do. I would say the last one, ch check out Handsomely Boxed. Uh, this is talking about it, where it belongs, where you could put it, and we wanna grab the word uh, uh, apartment essentials. So we talk about home and bar accessories, and we could even say uh, easily, we could slip that in. Yep, uh, home and bar accessories. Maybe right here, home. Or apartment essentials, comma. 
And there you go. Yep. Um, okay, perfect. Oh, and I misspelt it there, so I didn't recognize it. There we go. Uh, so now it sees that you put that keyword in there. It shows you that it's in that bullet point. And now we know we have that keyword inside of our listing now, and we're gonna get SEO for it because we built it into our listing. So that's the key point of taking all of these, and now that we know these are all absolutely relevant keywords to your product, you wanna build these into your product uh, as, as, as best as possible. So the, there's many uh, schools of thought on how to do this. The, the main thing is getting the most applicable and highest search volume keywords into your title and then go into your bullet points and then your sub uh, your search terms now search terms has the in in relation to your title it's got a very similar ranking seo ranking so the the search terms that you put into the search terms field are going to have a similar weight to what you have in your uh title up here so you want to think with getting obviously the most relevant ones in your title first so you have them there and then work on to your search terms and bullet points. So getting as many of them uh, into these areas as possible. Once you have that done, now start looking at, okay, what search terms do you not still have? So uh, an easy way to do this is uh, click this little button down here, show only keywords missing in product data. So we go like that. And now we know that these are all the ones that we don't have in our listing still. So you then work those into your description uh, or put them into subject matter. And once you've gotten as many of these uh, as you can into your listing, you've now gonna have uh, a lot better SEO. And you'll be able to now take these and go on to the second part of the trifecta, which is what we're gonna cover uh, uh, in the next webinar. And let's take a look at the title, yeah. which is always critical. Scroll back and let's take a look at that. And we see that um, uh, now unbreakable, that was not one of the terms in there? Yeah, it looks like not like. Was it not uh, like these competitors didn't use it? Yeah, it didn't show up as a thing and or, or if it did, it's gonna show up a lot further down in the, in the uh, search frequency. So we can go and check that out really quick. Let's open this on a new tab. We'll go back to, okay, it, it, it knew that uh, this is where we left off, so it, it kept that open. So if we get rid of this max here. All right, so now if we do a search for show unbreakable, So now we see unbreakable glasses drinking is 136, unbreakable glass 177. So yeah, they're all they get they're all, all above, high. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we can try shatterproof. Now this was the reason, if you recall earlier, that we grabbed competitors that had different words that we weren't identifying and f trying to flush out through this process. All those words important. Now we still may include them, right? And we may have them somewhere in the description. We don't have to eliminate them, but we're seeing they're not really that powerful. So here's a situation that in this case, it's okay to leave it in the title, but here you see, wow, I thought Unbreakable was really important. And you're seeing, but no, if it doesn't have a good SFR, it's not a strong, powerful word. You may rethink your title and realize yep. maybe you're eating up space and you're using a word and you're eating up that real estate and it's not a powerful word. Right. So you could always take that word out of your title. So we learn something from this process, maybe put that word in the back end, right? or move it into the description and free up room. Because what we do want to do is we want to find the real powerful words with lower SFRs, stronger SFR search frequency ranking and way better money keywords to get into the title. Yep. So Maybe we want to remove unbreakable. Absolutely, and let's or see change can... it because like plastic tumblers is showing up twenty four thousand, right? So people are actually looking for plastic tumblers. That's what they think with first, and the, instead of saying unbreakable or shatterproof, they're not going to think with that that word. They're going to think with, oh, I just need a plastic cup. I need something that's that's not going to break. So they're thinking with plastic tumblers first. Now you can see that's that's a lot more. Uh, popular of, of a search term. So you might go, okay, well, unbreakable sounds cool or sounds, you know, uh, totally applicable. Yeah, but that might be losing you search volume. Exactly. Whereas you could go after this. Pre, 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 no, um, we have this preconditioned notion that, oh, that's what we call it. That's what's a, it's a great word. Right. But 
the data always speaks to us and tells us it's really not that important. And the reason I'd pull it out is we want that real estate, like I was saying earlier. So I would recraft the title and maybe consider that plastic tumblers, plastic glasses are there. And then we have some of these other words like plastic drinking glasses. So we can right. actually say plastic uh, if you go back to the, go back for a second there, um, we could go back and we, like plastic tumblers, we could say plastic yep. uh, tumblers, plastic reusable tumblers. So we're seeing that reusable is actually yep. a stronger phrase uh, the, where it's being used is maybe better than breakable. And we see also reus reusable plastic cups. Yep. So reusable is plastic coming up. Plastic cocktail glasses. So I would take some of these phrases, rework it, and remove uh, words that we don't need in our title. Exactly. So as you can see here, plastic tumblers, right? So we could say, and we'll put the uh, our brand at the end, but we could say, um, let's see. Plastic, plastic tumbler whiskey glasses. Plastic tumblers, plastic tumblers, whiskey glasses. Um, and we could do, we could do Triton at the beginning. It's, it's obviously not a well-known term. Um, so we can say plastic tumblers, you know, uh, shatterproof Triton, you know, uh, something or other. We can get rid of double rocks. Kind of doesn't make sense. And you can uh, even put a one. comma after plastic tumblers. So it's, you're saying two phrases. It's press plastic tumblers, whiskey glasses, shatterproof, and we're yep. starting to work in the keywords and actually going back and rebuilding the title. Yep. So that the optimization is stronger and you have a, a uh, more of the SFR keywords that are being used in the optimization. Now again, it's going to be a different strategy that we'll cover when it comes to choosing what keywords we want to drive rank for. Right, right. It looks like I left wine in there, wine tumbler, but we can get rid of that. Um, so we'll do add more keywords. And where is wine? Wine, 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 wine. There, oh, it, there is. it is. All right. Um, all right, so we got you know apartment essentials. Uh, so we could again we could build in some of these longer ones that are you know not totally vital keywords for your title that could go into your bullets or description somewhere. Um, you know we can do glasses instead of glass cups because that might confuse people. We can say uh, glasses set, um, dishwasher safe. Now also. It was showing us that shatterproof. We thought unbreakable shatterproof was so powerful, and right. we purposely looked for competitors that had those words. Those words we we did put into our uh, analysis, did we not? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But they were all showing up after a hundred thousand, so it just didn't make sense for them to to be in here yet. So then we know that by choosing the titles the way we did, we forced the analysis of words like shatterproof, yep. like unbreakable, and we're realizing that, wow, we just thought those were cool words, but maybe they're not. Right. Uh, and sure enough, they're not. Right. So plastic tumblers, whiskey glasses, and shatterproof also may be something we want to move out of there or put further towards the end of the title. Right. So this is where you really need to take time uh, as a seller. You need to, to take this time and build these into your listing and just do it in a very smart manner. Make it so that it actually reads correctly. It reads nicely. Uh, you have the most important stuff uh, in your title and your bullets and search terms first and then build all the rest of it into your description. Um, once you've done all that, now you have the first point of the trifecta actually fully in place. And that's going to set you up for success later on. The second point of the trifecta is uh, taking these keywords and actually having them in Keyword Tracker. And uh, I'm just going to show you that right now, uh, how we go about setting that up. And then we'll go into detail. Um, uh, we're going to give it some time to actually show us some results, but then we'll go into some detail analyzing those results and uh, uh, using that to then have successful campaigns in the future, right? And, and before you jump to that, a couple of points on the title, because this isn't completely built. Right. What I do is 
I work in a spreadsheet and sometimes I'll list the title and then I'll cut and paste it, put it below and I'll alter it and cut and paste it, put it below and I'll alter it. And, and you want to, it, it's a word game. You want to get all the words to blend as best as possible, have the strongest SFR words in the title. But one of the other things, which is a missing link that people ignore yep. is, yes, we're looking at these words, but keywords, we refer to them as keywords, search terms, keywords, but they're phrases. <clears throat> they're not just one word. Right. So you want to keep the words in the order of the original phrase. So plastic tumblers, if for some reason, as an example, you would have reversed this, it's not the same. Now, it's okay if plastic and tumblers were separated and there was a word between it, the word plastic and the word tumblers are still in the same order as the original phrase. So you want to start keeping the phrases intact and try to start with the you know the original phrase. As you build out the title, you can't always use phrases. You, you, you're not gonna have enough character space. However, you wanna maintain the order, and you wanna start merging from the list the phrases as best as possible, so that when you're done, you should be able to go to your top SFR most relevant words, and almost all of the top five or 10 should be in the title, where you can artfully blend them in. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So then, so then what we're going to want to do is now we take these words, we got about 76 of them in here. I'm just going to click on this one, add more keywords so I can just get all the words. I'm going to uh, highlight them all, copy them, and then uh, go back to here. So now I'm going to go uh, to keyword tracker. I'm going to open that, open that up on a new uh, tab. And we're going to track uh, this product. So we'll actually show this uh, in our next uh, thing. So I'm going to add this, uh, this ASIN in here. Uh, which is this one here. So we'll grab the ASIN. And we'll say uh, plastic whiskey glasses. And then all the keywords, I'm going to grab those again. I should have copied them earlier, but uh, I'll do it this way again here. Like that. Copy those and we're gonna paste them in here. So now we have all these keywords that we're adding in here, and we're gonna be able to see, um, here they are. Um, tomorrow morning, we'll be able to see, okay, the search volume uh, will show up in here, and we'll see how we actually rank for these keywords, and, uh, and then we'll be able to actually analyze that, and we'll go into that uh, in detail in our next webinar. And then, of course, if you rebuilt your title, you wanna let it sit there for a few days, yep. because that's gonna affect the ranking, that's gonna affect your pay-per-click, et cetera. Uh, but then at least you've built out the most powerful title using all the SFR words that you could possibly use. Yep. Then we'll come back. We'll come back in the next episode. We're gonna see how these words for our listing with the better title, how they're all ranking in the tracker. And from there, we'll go to the next part of the trifecta. That's right. Perfect, okay, good. Well, I, I guarantee that <clears throat> I need to clear my throat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I guarantee that everyone ha is going to have a bunch of questions. And kind of like how we're we're planning on doing this. Um, didn't we? We said Tuesday, two p.m. Tuesday, two p.m. Tuesday, two p.m. Yep. Perfect. So Tuesday, two p.m. We're going to um, have a Q and A session. So the way we're going to do this. Everyone who's registered for this, we're gonna send you both the event link for the Q&A session, as well as the event link for the second part of this three-part series. So you will, if, as long as you caught this, you're gonna get an invite to the next couple bits. Now, uh, if you're seeing this as a replay, same thing. Just um, just go ahead and we'll you'll register through the Zoom link. If you don't get it for whatever reason, reach out to support and managebystats.com and we will make sure with our support team to send over that info for you. Um, if they're PPC guys, do we want to send them maybe even over to support on your guys' side too? Or should we just keep it on? Keep MBS it, is yeah, probably simpler, by right? stats. yeah, keep Perfect. it simple. So we'll keep it there, guys. So um, again, if you have any questions, definitely shoot them over in the chat here right now. Or again, let's say you think of something uh, over the weekend. 
let's say you're building out exactly the strategy that they're telling you to build here and you, Curtis, you hit a point. Cur yeah. Curtis, that's a great point. Yeah. Because if they're building this along with us or thinking through it, this is a great time as a workshop to say, okay, let me replicate this, mm -hmm, exactly. go and do it and get to this point. Get to the point where you built it out, you found the competitors, found mm -hmm. the keywords, inserted them and see while you're doing this, even is there an MBS uh, module that you're not familiar with for some right, reason. Maybe exactly. you never used the tracker. Did you ever use the scout? Do you have questions about it? So we can get everybody all together up to this point. Exactly. So that way we can look back and say, okay, everybody's with us and this will make a major improvement in their listing, right. in Absolutely. their research. And they may find in doing this, maybe their title was wrong. Maybe yeah. something they did wasn't right, that yep. they could correct it. And then it's going to be, oh, wait a minute. Is it this, is it that? Mm -hmm. They're going to have their questions. And this way they could develop real strong questions so that everybody's in step with us before we go to the next section. Yeah, exactly. And and I know that sometimes Q&A sessions can be um, you know, lengthy. That's why we figured we'd separate the Q and A from, <laughs> you know, already being here for like an hour or whatever we're at at this point. So, give yourself that opportunity over the weekend to collect up those questions. If you have questions over the weekend or after this moment right now, I, like people are firing questions already. So we'll get to all of your yeah. guys' questions that I'm seeing right here. But um, if you guys have questions over the weekend, send them again also to support at managedbystats.com and just title it as a uh, re, let's say, uh, ranking bootcamp. bootcamp questions. Yep. Ranking bootcamp questions, and we'll take all those questions and we'll throw them in for the next part. Other than that, I say, uh, you know, we've already we've already given them probably a lot to chew on. So yep. let's wrap Absolutely. this bad boy up. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, right, guys. guys. Then we will um, we will see you guys on Tuesday. If you don't have any questions, don't show up to the Q and A. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week for part two. Take care. Bye, guys.